The Dawnbreakers Two Minute Horror Show. Ah, oh, shoot, I forgot the popcorn. I'll just run back real quick, sweetheart. My dad told me. As soon as he disappeared behind the shelves, I could hear the cashier scanning our groceries. <sighs> Amazingly, not only have we transferred a lifetime of human memories into this alien, but we can also monitor its thoughts. Currently, it appears to believe it's listening to the second line of a two-sentence horror story on YouTube. The worst part of having the power of invisibility is knowing that invisibility is possible. When my child confessed their secret identity as the city's newest caped hero to me, I smiled and assured them that I already knew. I mean, why else would I take out such a large life insurance plan under their name? I flew into Atlanta because my parents were in a bad car accident, and I was told my father was now suffering from amnesia. Well, aren't you a hot young piece of ass? He said as I entered the room. That's just awful, she thought to herself after reading the first sentence. And after you've watched your child starve to death, the judge continued, loaves of stale bread, that object of your thievery, shall be force-fed to you until your stomach has burst. My wife was my main caretaker. I would never have imagined she would pass away before I did. As I stared at her lifeless body, realizing the phone was out of reach, I remembered the doctor's words when he warned me that being obese and bedbound would be a dangerous situation. Hands shaking, I changed the dates on my newly functioning time machine from the present, 1917, to the future in 2217. Sixth or seventh rang in my ears as I begged passerbys to tell me how the Great World War had ended. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe for more.